down. Cameron Humphrey into the game as a receiver to the wide side. Three to the short side for Pacific. They'll play fake in the backfield. Campbell over the middle. It is grabbed by Roar. Cuts to the outside. 30 down the sideline. 20 gets the block to the 10. 5. See you on the other side. Caleb Roar. 44 yard touchdown. Three backs in the backfield in the eye. Give to the deep man and looking for a surge from the line. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Yes. Oh, might have come out. It did. Pacific's got it. A fumble recovered by the Boxers. Auto will line up as a slot receiver, now motions to a left wing. Handoff goes to Kirshner, darts into the end zone for a touchdown! Little delay to the right side, nice little trap walk by the Pacific offensive line. Couldn't see Kelson Kavai on the field today, he is in uniform. After missing the last two weeks. Campbell back to throw, deep on the post, it is caught for a touchdown! Guess who? Jordan Fukamoto, Mr. Post Pattern himself. Touchdown number seven of the season. Third down and 11. Here comes the blitz, picked up nicely by Jacobs. Campbell's got a man deep roar behind the defense. 30, 20, 10. He is gone like the cool breeze. Caleb Roar, 67 yard touchdown. And give an assist to Davis, Davis Jacobs. Jacobs with a great gain. He's been the major thorn in the side of this passing game today. Foley takes another quick snap. Can't find his first option. Scrambles right, sets, throws deep for the end zone. Into traffic, it's intercepted. Intercepted the end zone by Craig Bailey. Coming out on the return, he's at the 10. He's got great speed. He's to the 20, 15 or 25, and out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Only urging out of that end zone. Looked like he was kind of in a celebratory run at first, then realized that it was a live play. Either that or he was trying to deep the, uh, the lockers in the transition play. Short screen pattern, the wide receiver Fukumoto gets a nice block in the sideline, and he's gone down the sideline 50, 40, 30. See you later, Jordan Fukumoto. All the way to the end zone, 72 yards, and the boxers are starting to run away in this third period. The second straight play. Down 10 at the 16 yard line. Just underway with the fourth quarter. Three wide receivers, Campbell back to throw into a crowd, it's Taylor, touchdown! Perfect pass, Taylor turned his head, the ball was right on the hands, dropped right in between three defenders. Third down conversion. Korn, who threw for a two-point conversion earlier, now throws, receiver broke the pattern, it's picked off by Mills, near the goal line, coming back to the 30, 35, and he is rocked on the sideline. On this side of the field, you're right up against that student section, so they're hearing it right now. Safety needs to get a little bit deeper. Brinkworth and Marita both cheating up, Mills out of the game after taking a big hit. Korn back to throw, he's in trouble, and he is sacked! He's sacked and driven back into the barricade beyond the back of the end zone. Third down and 10 for UPS. Three receivers to the short side. Born straight drop, throws for Niffin. Niffin just stopped the pattern and it's intercepted by Santiago. Santiago who has transitioned from safety to weak side linebacker back at his old home and comes away with the third pick of the day. The one more knee is all it's gonna take. T.C. Campbell takes the snap. There it is, the knee is down. The clock will wind with 25 seconds to victory. They're not gonna wait. The boxers charge the field right now. And here come the students from the West End Zone firing onto the field. It's a party on homecoming day. 10 seconds left on the clock, but the party has already started at the 25 yard line. They're dancing on the field. The boxers have won. It's over. The final Pacific 44, Puget Sound 25. You know it, baby. Boxers win. You know, specifically after last week and, and really uh, kind of being disappointed in uh, the uh, outcome, for these kids to rebound as freshmen, sophomores, young team, and come out and put this kind of uh, effort together as a one team to stay together through all uh, the, the weeks that we've gone through, the, the two years of building this program. Uh, we understand it's one win, but it's a special win, and it's one that these kids will be able to remember for a long, long time. 
Talk to me about the performance. Uh, it's just the most amazing feeling. We worked so hard for these past two years to come and earn this and to win at home, at homecoming, in front of our fans. It means so much to us and all the hard work we've been putting in. Uh, we just wanted to stay balanced, you know, run the ball to open, and open up the pass. And just let our playmakers really just make the plays. And our O-line just did amazing. I felt like I had all day in our pockets to just sit there and pick them apart pretty much. So it was a great just overall team effort today. Tell me, Coach challenged us all week to come out with some fire. And uh, we actually took that to heart, you know. And uh, we, we knew that we had a great game plan coming in. And so we just executed, and it was great seeing it work. I told them that, that it was about one, that they came together and, and they did this together. It was not one guy, it was not one uh, side of the ball, one position. It was a whole group coming together on one day and, and making something special happen.